Hi, this is the demo of the site flipthroughmovies.com which will allow you to browse through the collection of movies in bigflix.com, the popular movie rental site for English and uh, Indian movies. So let's get started by navigating to the site flipthroughmovies.com which will start loading the collection of movies. This might take a while because this site has got around 13,000 titles and uh, you can see them start appearing as tiny blocks. Just to trim down this list, let's go to the left panel and apply a couple of filters like uh, show me only English movies with a decent rating, say for example, let's put it 3 and above. And the collection has been reloaded and I can zoom into any random movie and I get to see a movie badge as we call it, which shows information like the title, the language as a colored bar on the left, the plot, the star rating, director, genre, etc. And I can navigate through this collection like I am flipping through the pages of a book that too in all directions. And once I have this I can zoom out from this view to see the other movies of similar rating and uh, all the other criteria of the filter that we have chosen earlier. And I can zoom into another movie and on the right side I see the same information as I saw on the batch like the plot, the language, the genre, etc. And this panel itself is interactive in the sense that I can click on Spielberg to see all the movies that were taken by him as a collection. And I can further slice this collection by applying a filter of a language. Or say for the year of release I say all the movies taken in this century by Spielberg. Or I can say in this decade or a range of year. This filter is being applied cumulatively like I'm seeing all the actors who work with Spielberg in some movie or the other here. Say for example Tom Cruise. Similarly, I can apply other filters of sensor certificate or uh, rating as I wish. I can continue to explore the site as we did before. For example, if I want to see all Tom Cruise movies at one shot, I can just click on the actor name. So here you see that this kind of a navigation gives us information which is difficult to assimilate otherwise. So let's clear all the filters here. And if I want to see all the movies which were directed by Clint Eastwood and he has acted also, this is what we can do. I select the English language and I go to the director filter in which I choose Clint Eastwood and when I go to the cast where I have all the actors who has acted in the Clint Eastwood movies I select him and here I have the exact information I wanted the movies for which the director and the cast have Clint Eastwood. Now let's see how to sort and group the movies based on uh, different criteria. As you can see here, uh, the panel on the top right corner shows the order in which uh, the movies have been sorted right now. It also shows a grid view as you are seeing right now or the graph view if you want to, which will show the movies grouped based on some criteria. In this case, it's based on language. I can change this criteria to other uh, things like uh, genre, cast, director, rating. And when I am in the rating view, I see the movies uh, grouped based on the rating. And in this view, I can further apply the filters, uh, for example, English and Hindi. Also, I can interact with this application at this level where I can zoom in to the collection of movies using the mouse scroll wheel or using the slider bar at the top. Here again, I can flip through these movies or I can go into the details of any particular movie and see all the information on the right panel. The other interesting part about uh, this kind of a navigation is that it brings out interesting trends and patterns in the movie viewership. For example, if we take all the movies that belong to say the genre of uh, drama and family. You can see here that there is a mixed response from the crowd. Some people like it, some people don't like it. To understand why there is a difference, if you first filter based on 20th century movies, you see that they are not so popular for this uh, genre. Whereas for the movies that were brought out in the 21st century, you said, see that there's a fairly good popularity for such movies. Flip through movies also has the basic search facility where I can search for a movie name and I can go directly to the 
movie details and the buttons on the top allow me for further navigation for example when I click on the trailer button it brings up a trailer which I can play to have a sneak peek into the movie or alternatively and if I wish to buy it I can click on the buy button which will take me directly to the Amazon website for this movie and so that I can add it directly to my shopping cart. This concludes the demo of flipthroughmovies.com and here's a team that created this site during the Yahoo Open Hack 2010 conducted in Bangalore. This uses the Microsoft Pivot Viewer Silverlight control which in turn makes use of the Microsoft C-Dragon technology. Thank you.